everyone welcome back to our channel grab learning train with atvika and today we are here with a new topic and today's topic is part of a plant today we are going to discuss about different parts of a plant so as you can see on the screen that when we are talking about the parts of a plant so basically plants a uh, plant body is divided into two parts one is root system another one is shoot system atika do you know what is root system root system is uh, the part that are under the plant under the soil right root system a uh, root is that part of the plant which is which are present under the soil below the soil and what is shoot system shoot system are the upper plants of the plant uh, are the upper parts of a plant system is that part of the plant which is present above the soil so in shoot in shoot system which parts we are considered stem fruit leaf and flower so it stem fruit leaf and flower these these parts are present on above the soil and these parts of the plant are considered as a shoot system this is roots roots so roots are the very important part of plant because they absorb water and mineral from the soil can plant survive without water and mineral as we can no, no plant, not at all not at all so plant can't survive without water and mineral so roots plays a very crucial role because they absorb water and mineral they spread inside the soil they cover a very long distance inside the soil and absorb water and nutrient from the soil and send it to the plant is this this is stem do you have any idea of what is the function of stem stem first stem supports the upper part of a plant right and we know that root absorb water and mineral from the soil but how but how do the water and mineral transfer to the other parts of the plants do you know this uh, from the help of the stem yes with the help of stem stem transfers all the water and nutrient to the other parts of the plant because all plants need energy right all plants require water minerals so what is the function of stem stem also plays a very crucial role whatever root absorbs from the soil stem transfer it through the stem transfer to the other part of the body which part is this leaf leaf right green green uh, atika can you tell me that leaf is only green in color or they can be of any color they can be of any color for example red orange and gold in the fall and uh, also many other colors okay but mostly green or uh, mostly leaves are green right do you know one thing the leaves which are green in color they can prepare their own food yes you know this right so what is the function of leaf you know in plant body what is the function of leaf leaf makes uh, make its uh, own food yes with the help of what is the name of that process mm, photosynthesis right so these leaf can green leaf can prepare their food by themselves with the help of photosynthesis so photosynthesis is a process in which you know atika what happen in photosynthesis plant absorbs sunlight right plants use carbon dioxide and plants use water also to prepare their own food right yes mm -hmm. 
So photosynthesis, what is photosynthesis? It is a process through which plants can prepare their own food to absorb water and minerals from the soil. Then it can transfer that water or mineral to the upper part of the plant. And one more function is very important function is there, which is performed by stem. You know what? Plants prepare their food in which part of, uh, in which part? Leaves. Leaves. And from leaves, how, do you know, do you have any idea how food travels to other parts of the plant from leaves? From stem. Right. A stem transfer food from leaf to the other part of the plant. These are fruits. Do you like fruits? Right. So which fruit is this? this uh, these are mangoes. And what is your favorite fruit? Apple. <laughs> okay. So, Atika, do you know that fruits are produced from flowers? You know this? The plant uh, which bear flowers, they can only produce fruit, right? The plant which doesn't bear flowers, they can't produce food, fruit. And what is the main function of fruit? Fruit protects the seeds. Seeds are always present inside the fruit, right? Seeds are always present inside the fruit, correct? But, uh, you know, Advika, there are some fruits in which seeds are absent. Can you give me one example of such fruit in which seeds are absent? Banana. Banana. There is no seeds in banana, right? So the fruit which doesn't have seeds, those fruits are known as the seedless fruit. Or it is question time. I'm going to ask you some question and you have to give me answers, right? So which part of the plant grows above the soil? Stem. Right. Which part of the plant absorbs water and minerals from the soil? Root. Which part of the plant produces fruit? Mm. Uh, flower. Flower. Correct. Right. So, Atvika. Can you explain what did you learn today? Today I learned the part of, of plant. Right. Part root of system plant. system and root system. So what is root system? Root system uh, is the part that is under the soil. That present under the soil. And what is root system? It is the, the part that is above the soil. Root system is the part that is that is present above the soil. So, which part of the plant are considered as a root system? The, uh, the stem uh, is considered as a root system. Leaf, leaf, flower, flower and fruit. Fruit are or vegetables. Yes, these parts are considered as a root system of plant. We will try to meet you soon with the uh, with new topic. Till that time. Bye.